Hi there, and welcome to your 2014 Solaire. We're just gonna start off the back of the unit here. This is a hybrid camper. So to get those beds out, you just lift that little tab there, which are lockable with your key. Your bed comes out, folds down, just help it down, help assist it down, that way it doesn't slam. And then we'll finish the rest inside. Uh, in the back corner of the bumper here, you're gonna find your sewer hose. Just take note of those two ears there. It's gonna line up with the two ears in your sewer outlet. Right up from there, you do have your 30 amp plug. Just that little ear there. You line up with the ear on the plug. Do that eighth turn, thread a collar to lock it down. You can follow it to your standard 30 amp plug end. Most campsites should have that plug. You can plug right on in. If you're at home or your campsite doesn't have this plug, we do include a 15 amp adapter. Just keep it in mind whenever you're using this 15 amp adapter, you don't want to run something like your AC as it is a high amp item. Next up, we have our sewer outlet. So just those two ears there, same two ears that are on your sewer hose. So you just take this off, put your sewer hose on, you're always gonna to wanna to empty your black tank first. Your black tank is your toilet water, your gray tank's gonna be filled from your sinks and shower. Always empty the black tank first and then the gray tank just helps keep that hose a little cleaner. Uh, right up from there, we do have your black tank flush. Thread in a garden hose while your black tank's hooked up. Open up your black tank, turn on your water. This is gonna flush out any debris hanging from the probes. If you got an uh, uh, issue on your board, it's saying that it's full and it's not. And it also helps with getting rid of any smells. Uh, right down from there, you do have a little light down here where your cable satellite inlets are. And right next to that, you do have an exterior shower for this unit. Make way a little further down the unit. You do have your furnace exhaust. Do keep in mind that this does blow up hot air, so you're not going to want to ever have it blocked. You could burn something. Down there, you have your city water connection. If you're out of sight with service, plug your garden hose in on here. You get pressure to all your lines, no need to run your pump. Uh, right next to that is your fresh water inlet. You fill this up, it fills the fresh water tank uh, underneath the trailer. That's what your uh, water pump draws from. Uh, right here you do just have some storage. Inside this storage compartment is where you're gonna find your 25 foot water hose and your 15 amp park adapter. In this black box here is where your battery's located. At the end of the season, you're just gonna to wanna to disconnect that. Underneath here, you have your two barbecue style propane tanks. This is gonna be the only way to get the propane to the unit. Uh, take note of this little black selector. You're gonna to wanna to either turn that to this tank or that tank, depending on which one you wanna draw off of. Just making sure if it's pointed this way, you're drawing off this tank. You open that valve all the way. Now you have propane running through the unit. This unit does have a manual front jack. Uh, just more storage up front here. Right here is where you're going to find your water heater. Before you ever fire up your water heater, you're just going to want to give this little pressure relief valve a pull. If the tank was full, you would have seen a little shot of water come out, letting you know that it's full. You're not gonna wanna fire it if it's ever empty. You do run the risk of burning out any probes. While we're inside, I'll go over a reset procedure. The button I'm referring to is just right here. Right here, you do have your range hood vent. Just whenever you get to your campsite, just loosening off those two little tabs allows that to be open. Whenever you're using your stove inside, you're always gonna to wanna to make sure you have that fan on, evacuating the fumes. Whenever you go to travel again, just locking those tabs, keeps dust from getting inside. Uh, to get inside the unit, it's just your nice little door here. It is on a little gas assist strut. To get your stairs up, you just give them a pull. The top one flips down. Take a step on inside the unit. On your top corner here, this is where you're gonna find all your light switches and your porch and your scare light switch. 
Uh, right next to that, you do have your buttons for your black, fresh, and grays. Uh, you push that button, it's currently going to say F for full. It's charging, so, and then down from there is two thirds, a third, and empty. And then the same thing for your fresh, your black, and your gray. You do have a gray two and three option here. Those aren't actually hooked up. Uh, down from there, you have your water pump switch. You turn that on, it's gonna turn your water pump on. And the same goes for your water heater. I went over that procedure with you. I went over the water heater with you. Just remember, when you do turn this on, your little DSI, you have a little fault light here. You're gonna turn this on, that fault light's gonna stay on. The water heater is gonna try and ignite itself three times. If on the third time it doesn't ignite, this is gonna stay on. That's when you're gonna have to turn this off, go hit that reset button, turn this back on, and it'll try and light itself again. On the right, on the right of that, you just got your slide out button. So you're gonna hit that slide out button. Hit that slide out button out. When you hear the motors click, that's when you know you're fully extended. There you go, it stopped. You do have a little battery voltage gauge here. Uh, you have your awning awning button here. So the way that works, you just hit that awning button to extend. It's gonna make its way on out. You're gonna know it's fully extended when you see the little flap hang down in the back of the middle tube. that little flap there's the back of the middle tube you're fully extended now you can bring it on in now whenever you have this out just keeping in mind if you ever get to 10 to 15 kilometer an hour winds you're just going to want to bring it on in that way you don't run the risk of bending your arms or ripping your fabric uh, right down here you do have just a little cutting board somebody installed uh, front bedroom uh, storage here. This is a fold-out bed, so you can fold this out to turn it into a bed. You got a sink with hot and cold water, stereo, just like home, power button. You have your different auxiliaries, so on from there. Just more storage in there. You do have your microwave, as well as your range hood. You got a button, the light and the fan. Always running the fan if you are running the stove. Now, the way you run that stove is you turn those knobs to light. You hit that top burner ignite button and they should light up. We're gonna have to look into why that far left one isn't lighting. Uh, for the oven, I don't currently have a lighter on with me but you're just gonna turn this knob to pilot. There's a little thermal coupler down there. You hold your lighter to it. And after a few seconds of you holding that, it should light up. Just keep in mind though, it does take a while sometimes to clear the air out of the line, so it can take a minute. Inside the bathroom, you got your light switch on your left. You do have a fan above your head. To open that, you just open the knob, hit the switch, fan comes on closing it especially if it's raining medicine cabinet sink with hot and cold water do have a gfi plug below that uh your shower with hot and cold water and then your toilet flusher is just right in the center come out of here and you go over to this bed section this is the bed section that we did open up. You have this long black bar. It's gonna line up with just that little knob there on this black pole. You line it up with the flat part of this black pole. And you just connect those two together, push it on out. There you go, it's on out. And now in the roof here, there's just that little silver tab that this pole locks into. It's locked into place. You do have a light here above your head. And then the mattress just folds out inside that bed space there. That is the same for all three beds in this unit. They work all the same way. Right beside the third bed here, you do have your thermostat. So you hit that button, you're gonna come into fan. Now this is just the fan running 
and you can go between a high and low fan. It's on auto operating those but those operating these buttons goes from low and high. If you go into now cool, now this is going to be the the, uh, the AC part kicking in, and this just changes your uh, temperature selection. If you're going to want to change your fan speed, you do have to click this button to go back to fan, and you can change that. You hit that button again once you, uh, once you once you're in cool. If you hit that button again into furnace, your furnace is going to kick on. The furnace does run on propane. Propane's heavier than air. It's going to sit on the ground, and the LP detector, which is right here, is going to detect that. If that ever starts going off, just always make sure you're going to turn off the propane to the unit. Open up any windows, let air out. Right down here, you're going to find your main GFI plug. If you ever have an outlet that's not working, you just hit that, hit, hit that reset button. Resets the plugs. Go try that outlet again. Uh, you got your fridge. Right below your fridge, you have your converter. Just hit that, that pops on open. You have circuit breakers here. If a breaker is popped, it's gonna sit in the middle, so you're just gonna have to turn it off and then back on to reset it. And then you have all your fuses here. Uh, right here is where you have your satellite inlets. If you hit this little button here, right next to your satellite outlet, it's gonna turn a little green light on. That's gonna turn the antenna on the roof on. It will improve your stereo frequency if you have that on. That's gonna be about it for this unit here. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.